Good evening, everybody. It's uh, Saturday, August 12th, and uh, decided to make y'all a video today. It's been a few days. I told y'all I was gonna, you know, do this every couple days. So today I want to talk to y'all about something, man. I got some real shit to talk to y'all about. Uh, you know, we were younger, man. You know, we had the world by the balls. You know, you could eat whatever you want, dude. Shit it out the next day lose weight like that right no problem man and uh, as you get older some of those problems tend to get a little harder to overcome and uh, the bodybuilding world fitness world sports you know, sometimes you gotta make decisions on things to try to further your game or help accelerate what you're trying to do and uh, I'm one of those now people who have made that decision and I am juicing yep, I am I'm juicing now and I know what you're thinking that it's cheating but you know it, sometimes you just need that help man you just need to get that extra boost, that extra push, you know, to help you complete your goal that you're trying to get to, so, this is my juicer, <laughs> and I'm going to be juicing up some juice for y'all today, so that's what's going on, huh, y'all thought I was on the juice, fuck, I don't even hit the goddamn gym to hit the juice, so, I don't know how I want to do this, hold on. I gotta find something to like prop this up. How's that? All right, cool. So, kind of weird how I'm gonna do this, but uh, I bought this juicer, man. You know, I told y'all a while ago about you know uh, uh, fat, sick, and nearly dead, and um, it wasn't Joe's story that spoke to me. It was Mike the trucker. Uh, he worked for Night Trucking, which those are trucks that I see all over the place actually night trucking is now uh they had just bought swift so now it's night swift together so you know what i think i'm a movie dudes over here because i just i am not liking that angle okay let's shut up there let's see put y'all over here and then uh yeah something like that man i don't know this is a bunch of shit but anyways, okay, so that story hit me the most because it's relatable. Back in 2014, I ended up getting blood work done. No problems. I only weighed 10 pounds less than what I weigh now. A year ago, not even a year ago, back in December, I ended up getting a blood test. Now my A1C is a 7.4, which makes me diabetic. I was fine in 2014 until I became a trucker. Processed meat is to blame. I believe processed meat is to blame. And that's all they fucking have out here, man, is burgers. And I'm pretty sure they're not back there frying up burgers for us, man. They're probably zapping that shit because those burgers taste like zap burgers. So it's probably fucking past um, a processed patty bullshit or you get pizza or you get some kind of fried something or other. That's all we have out here. Yeah, you know, for those of us that are smart enough to go into fucking Walmart, to buy food or have a microwave or get down on the the, the, the the skillet like I do and shit and make something better for myself. No, these fucking guys are out there smashing this shit down and it's expensive. Those fucking restaurants, those truck stop restaurants, man, you're looking at $15, $16 a fucking meal. Then you got to tip the broad that's giving you the shit. So now you're up to 20 bucks. Do that three times a day. That's $60 a day. Easy. And that's not even including if you want something to drink in between. You know, you got your fucking trucker mugs, coffee, snacks. So easily on one day, if you're eating at least twice, we'll say we're eating twice, that's 40 bucks. So even though with all the extra shit, you're spending $50, $60 a day. That's $600 every 10 days. There's 30 days. 
So you're spending up to fifteen hundred dollars in a month, easily. For what? Shit. Shit that's horrible for you. Shit that's gonna make you fat, feel like shit. Makes you diabetic. We're all out here dying. So I said no more, man. I kept telling myself that I've been wanting to juice. I've been wanting to juice for a while because everybody knows me. I'm not really a fruits and vegetables dude. Never have. Meat, potatoes, pasta. That's all I ever lived off of. All I ever lived off of. Even up to just like a year ago. That's all I ever fucking lived off of. What? Get that vegetable away from me. Get that corn out of my face. I don't want it. Now I like this shit, man. But... Uh, Big Brother Ernie... He was juicing, got Jared on the juicing, Jessica's juicing, Gangster's juicing, everyone's juicing, man, and everyone's feeling good, and this is a good way to get it into you, man. It's not like, you know, I'm not getting the nutrients and shit that my body needs, you're still getting it in, and it's great, and it feels good. Now, am I doing a complete total juicing cleanse? No, 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 no. What I'm doing this as, excuse me, I need a water. as a meal replacement. So I'll wake up in the morning, grab a juice, go on through my day, eat a low carb, back to the Atkins meals, low carb Atkins meals, or I just ate uh, them foo heater meats that I fry up in the skillet, and then I'll drink a juice for dinner, even though it's kind of late right now, but that's kind of how it worked out, you know? So starting tomorrow, I will wake up, drink the juice, eat the food and then tomorrow night juice with maybe some popcorn or something I like the popcorn so anyways so yeah today I'm gonna make juice for y'all celery this is Joe's mean green okay and I bought some stuff to help me do this because you gotta slice the apple up so I bought this here apple slicer I got me some mason jars man I'm gonna fill this some it's cool it's twisted and shit's all cool <laughs> Woo! so yeah, that's what we're working with, man. We're going to do this shit, man. I'm still waiting to hear back. I had to get, send in some more stuff. So we're still waiting on the North Dakota job. It's going down. It's just a matter of when. So one, two, three. Okay. So, and then when I get up there, man, I can really start doing what I told myself I wanted to do. Get into the gym. Get the cardio in. Cardio, 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 cardio. I want to be 220. That is my goal. I'd like to be less than that, but if I can get down to a 30 inch waist again, man, and actually be able to buy clothes that I like from like Walmart and shit, that'd be great. So, um, some of the things I had to improvise on, because I went to three different stores and none of them had fucking ginger, so I had to get like this ginger shit. It's like paste, so I just <laughs> squeeze it in there. You want to see that again? <laughs> Squeeze it in there. And then fucking uh, call it good. And then they didn't have kale at the first place. But I really wanted to do this. I wanted no excuses to not do this. Um, so I ended up buying like the bag of kale. So I'll just shove a bunch of shit in there like this until it makes enough juice that I like. Because I don't know. Uh, serving size is five. Two and a half cups. So that makes a serving size. Because it says like three leaves, three to six leaves of kale. Well, I don't know how fucking kale looks like. So I'm just going to shove a bunch of this in there, handfuls of this shit. Just squirts out a bunch of juice. Pour it in a fucking mason jar. I'll pre-make this shit every night so that I have it in the morning and for the night. And that's how I do it. And that'll work out good. So what you need is three things of celery. One cucumber, which last night I confused a cucumber for uh, zucchini. So I ended up doing it with a zucchini. It was green and it looked like a dick. So I, I bought it. And it, then today I was looking, I'm like, oh, it's a fucking zucchini. This is a cucumber. So whatever. Did it. So moving on a half a lemon these are some pussy ass lemons man look at this this thing was small man so I was kind of disappointed but yeah but a half a lemon 
the two apples. It says to core the apples, but I'm not doing that. So. Randy Smith's. It says to core them, but whatever, man. It's a food juicer mabobber. Why the hell I gotta core this shit? It's just gonna de destroy and diminish everything. But I did buy this, though, so that it makes it into little wedges, because I got a little small hole. So, so right on, right on. But, uh, here we go. Oh. This is definitely a process, that's for sure. It'd be a lot easier if I was in a house doing this, but it is what it is, man. And we're gonna make it happen, and that's what we're doing. Ugh. So, the one thing that it did say is to take the the rind off of the lemon, which I've not really learned how to do that yet. I imagine it's the same as uh, an orange, but it doesn't always seem to work out that way. So maybe I'll get a YouTube video and see how to do lemons. But the shit was delicious, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I had it this morning. Sent a couple video, just you know, home videos, like personal videos, out to a couple people to show them that I did it. But it's definitely cool. I definitely like it. So, oh, that's sour. Uh, I like it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Boy, I tell you what, that'll wake you up. <laughs> okay. Got the mason jar. Oh, the mason jar fits right up underneath there. Look at that. Oh, okay. So. So I got everything to do this. All right. Okay, here we go. Righteous, man. That's awesomeness. Okay, so far so good. Now what I need to do, okay, that might have been too much, but whatever. Whatever, that's why I wanted the real stuff, but like I said, no excuses this time. Okay, the reason I stopped is because I gotta split this cucumber here in half. in this piece right right get in there 
leafy greens man that's pretty much anything leafy and green can totally make into a juice and that's what's good for you at least that's what they tell me so I believe them Not much happens with the kale or rooney. Oh, it just like goobed out. That's kind of gross. That's fine. No problemo. Because we're going to shove some of these apples in there and then wash it down with the kale. How about that? This thing is so cool. I'm scared to like do this though. Oh my god, come here, hold on. Scared everything's gonna go flying everywhere and fucking this is gonna be ended up a tragedy. Totally not as easy as they said. Okay, see how that worked out? Oh, okay. push it through and then this is where Rob cuts his fingers wide open and I still post a video because they don't get hits oh. <laughs> anyways okay see and it has a core too but that's good stuff to put in so I don't want to lose all of that so we're gonna throw the core and all that in there okay so more kale More kale, boom, okay. Followed by some uh, hoodsy wudzits there. Some apples, Ooh, okay. Do it. Oh, there we go. That was some nasty green shit. All right. This is working out good, man. Ah, a little bit of cucumber. Come on, baby. There we go. Awesome. ran out of space. See my juice thingy is full. Maybe I bought two small mason jars, man. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? It is what it is, and we'll just go ahead and uh, get a sip of this for y'all real quick. Okay. I did buy 16 ounces. Boom. And there it is. The mean green. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna do another one because I have my other mason jar here. But Y'all pretty much get the point, man. That's what it is. I guess I should have bought bigger mason jars or maybe put it into a bigger vegetable, vegetable, ves vessel, whatever. You know what I mean. Don't judge me. And then uh, distribute it. I think we might do that. You know what? We are going to do that. They gave me this little fucking thing. <gasps> It only holds 10 ounces at a time. But we're looking for maximum maximum intake. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix up a whole bunch of these. And then just put them into mason jars. 
and then just drink them tomorrow because you can only hold on to this shit for like a day but so y'all get the point man and that's what's up and uh if you guys are not juicing try it uh look up uh, J uh joe cross's mean green or just go into YouTube, man, and put in juicing recipes. There's so many out there. Um, you can go down to, to, to your Barnes and Nobles and get books or ebooks um, on juicing recipes. And there's all kinds of juicing shit, man. So this this one is just something I wanted to try that works for me and I like it. And that's what we're gonna run with, man. And that's how we're gonna do this. So right on, man. Love peace, chicken grease, man, and juice it up. <laughs> Y'all be good. Bye-bye.